U of T is a great school in a great city. And in a discipline like engineering, it, innovation distinguishes a leader from a follower. And culture has a very strong influence on the ability to create something new and to be creative. And so I think U of T engineering is ideally positioned because it has a very strong culture of excellence. And it's within a city that embraces diversity and uh, public welfare, which is very important for a profession like engineering. At U of T Engineering, I have been an undergraduate student, a graduate student, a young faculty member over 10 years ago, and now I'm a more senior faculty member. And I think what's made my experience so exhilarating and captivating is that the university is very much like uh, an academic ecology. And so its members that include students, staff, administrators, and professors are all learners in this environment. And what's unique um, about the University of Toronto is that there's very strong synergies amongst these individuals. Students provide a, a new and unique stimulus that's a sign of the times. Professors uh, form a deep foundation that uh, allows uh, for students to engage and learn. So I've just had a wonderful time interacting with all the different members of this school. Um, it's strongly felt that power systems will not be able to meet future demand for energy. And so for this reason, there's a movement towards making them uh, more cyber-enabled or modernizing them. And so this requires information technology to be harnessed and added to power systems. Power systems are probably the most important critical infrastructure of any society. And so securing them and being able to make them more robust will have very strong positive implications for society. Um, on top of it, the strategies we use to try and make them more secure and robust borrow from nature and biology. So it's very interesting trying to dissect biology and nature and try and better understand what makes it robust and self-healing in a way. As a researcher and an engineer, I hope that um, I'm able to come up with strategies and tools and general principles for stakeholders of power systems to be able to better evolve them and modernize them, to convert them into what's called a smart grid. Um, as an educator, I've always been very interested in uh, recruiting and retaining underrepresented groups in engineering because I think it's important to bring the positive aspects of the engineering profession to groups who normally would not consider it. Say, I always knew I wanted to solve problems and not just little problems but big problems and I found that engineering was the right discipline to be able to apply it to a number of different areas and that's why I selected it.